So the modern corporation as we know it uh, was first formed in 1602 with the government chartered Dutch East India Company. This was kind of the first modern corporation with shareholders and organizations that kind of, if you squinted, looked like something close to modern companies today. By the 1850s in the United States, with railroads spanning the entire country, corporations needed more sophisticated organizations. And in fact, the first org chart was drawn in 1856 to just manage corporations. And by the beginning of the 20th century, educators started realizing that there was a need for an educated management class to administer and execute these corporations. Because at least in the United States, we were going from local economies to regional economies to a national economy, yet we did not have a trained management class. And so in a brilliant insight, Harvard set up the first Masters of Business Administration course called the MBA. And the first graduating class in 1910 was the first of a cadre of business administrators that made the 20th century the modern corporate century. The MBA curriculum was designed to provide managers and administrators with the tools they needed to run existing and growing companies. Accounting, strategy, operations, leadership, organizational behavior, uh, human resources, management. And this stack of tools was just incredibly important for the growth of large companies. But what's really interesting, what got missed, is that there were really no tools provided in these curriculums for starting new businesses. One of the things we did not understand for a hundred years is that startups are not smaller versions of large companies. Let me say it again. Startups are not smaller versions of large companies. And what falls out of that is all the traditional tools taught and learned in an MBA curriculum are irrelevant in the first chaotic year or two of an early stage venture. Eventually, you need that tool set, but at first, it really gets in the way.